Yeah! We played Malphite Instant Concede. Malphite too strong, Malphite carry. It truly is on Malphite Spotlight Night. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last Malphite deck tonight for Malphite Spotlight Night. We're going to be playing Malphite Talia. This is probably the most common Malphite deck there is. Combining Malphite with Shurima because Shurima has a lot of landmarks and... Um, of course, Talia really cares about landmarks as well. So both these champions came out at the same time. They're both uh, champions that uh, do different things with landmarks. Talia, of course, has the play, summon an exact copy of an allied landmark, and levels up after 5 landmarks. Malphite levels up after 10 mana of landmarks, and it starts making those unstoppable forces. This specific list, I don't know who it is from. It's not from me. It was from somebody, and so I, I apologize, I don't know who it's from. It was from somebody on the ladder last season um, that was like in the top half of um, Master's Rank that you know, like how you can check the different decks that people have in Master's Rank. This was uh, from somebody there with Malphite Talia. So I thought, I thought it'd be a good one. I kind of just jotted down the deck code of like, you know, to get to at some point. It does have star shaping in it, which did get nerfed. It's only doing 80% of the Nexus healing than what it used to. But I didn't really see anything else I really wanted to play a bunch. Like the the card I could see playing like this format, the like maybe not last format, it's the Desert Naturalist because of how prevalent thralls are now. Um, but I, I'm not sure if like I, I wanted to have Nexus healing in the deck, and so I didn't want to just like have no Nexus healing and and so then like where do we fit in the Naturalist? There's already so many fours. I don't know. I I wasn't exactly sure what to do. I I just decided just to play the exact list that we had before. Um, and so that, that's what we're going to do. So, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get to it. So let's go ahead and, like, we got, like, these Salt Spires in here to copy the Talia. I think that's going to be pretty cool. A whole bunch of, of Stone Breakers. That should be pretty fun. So let's get to it. Let's play a Landmark-centric deck, which is kind of the perfect way to end Malphite Spotlight Night. So we'll go play our five games in Ranked. Here we go. Playing Solari Sunforger would just add on to the problem of just having... Too many four mana cards. And so it just kind of continues to, to pile on to that problem. I kind of want to keep the Talia, but I also kind of don't want to keep anything else. I could see keeping Preservarium. It's kind of a lot of cards. I've Okay, so I've played a lot of Preservarium decks. Just, you know, like Preservarium is a wonderful card. We put Preservarium in a ton of different decks. But what I've kind of found is that... Um, Preservarium isn't necessarily a good card to keep early because while you want it to be a two mana draw two, having like your round two be your two mana draw two um, isn't really that good because you're already going to have like lots of cards anyway. Now, of course, we I, I am playing Chip, and so maybe Chip changes the math there where like you know, keeping Preservarium is more useful because of Chip. I am definitely going to be playing a landmark before I do play Chip, though. Just out of I will leave my own so that's 8 mana for Malphite. And 2... Landmarks for Talia. Oh, that card is good. That card is very good. I'm just playing that to cycle. This could be a good spot to Preservarium. So 
So I guess they may have like three more copies of that. Possible? Do they have like three more copies of this 99 nine insightful investigator? Maybe. Exactly expecting Spear of Fire. I still feel pretty good about this game, though. Surprisingly enough. Because they have uh, only two cards in hand. We got this Preservarium to draw extra cards. Did they? I didn't pay attention. Did they burn the top card whenever they played this Mystic Shot? Yeah, they had to because that was the last card. I don't know what that bleeding card was for that Mystic Shot. Well, whatever it was had to have been burned. Yeah, they haven't drawn a champion yet. That is true. Okay, so they just wasted. So this predict did nothing. Maybe they played that. everything dying is good for us. We need the spots. We have more cards. Wow. They're letting that invest that that insightful investigator be vulnerable. Man, it's really enticing to just continue to play out like the three cards that in hand that I have Rock Hopper, Earth Elemental Chip, but it may, I don't know, but this, you know, like, they may have, like, two mana cards that, like, this helps them out with, yeah, see. Ugh, that was the problem. Yeah, we just got two extra fleeting cards because of me. But we have better attacks. Have you two made any progress? This specimen's chrome is to prevent tissue denaturation. Relax your knees. Excuse us. Put them to one. That's not acceptable. I should have mathed better. Do I go? Do I just go for lethal? Like I can, I can play this right there, keep Zillion alive, but to put him to negative three. Makes sense to do. Three cards in hand. Basically, it says, like, do you have quicksand? Do you have, like, Mystic Shot plus something else? Do you have Ride Negation? I think that Ride Negation was a fleeting card also, so I think they just got completely rewarded. Yeah, that was a fleeting card. Wow. So the, both the, Zil the Zillion was fleeting and then the Ride Negation. So the, the Zillion and the Ride Negation were completely free. Or if I would have opened an attack, they wouldn't have either of those. All right, but still, they're at three. Probably don't have too many ways to heal their Nexus. I got Dubs, Stonebreaker. Pretty happy about that. We're going to break some stones. Um... 
Does Stonebreaker work if they don't play anything? Or... Right, does this still do two to the Nexus? I don't know how this works. I really have no idea how this works. Can I play this and do two to the Nexus? Okay, chat doesn't really know either. They're just saying, <laughs> let's find out for science. Um, but I don't, it's so important that I don't really want to just for science it. I just want to open attack. All right, fine. We'll for science it. Hey, it does to the nexus. Okay, it works. Hooray! We should do this more often. We should. GG, Malphite. That game is all Malphite. Malphite Spotlight Night. Whoa! Aurelia Azir. What is this? Like 1982? Haven't seen this deck in forever. I am... Okay, so like they can have... I'm, I'm gonna keep Ground Slam. Like Ground Slam can kill... Um, Aurelia could be like against a, a very large... Green Glade duo could be good. It can do things. Also taking Talia, which I guess this card is pronounced. I've, I've kind of learned this card is pronounced Talia, but I've always said Talia, and I kind of like Talia. It's fun to say Talia. The reason why I wouldn't open attack is because I have the Roiling Sands, but they could just play Azir, and I kind of get the damage in on Azir. Rewarded. Get an extra, extra two damage in. Block. Could go Unraveled Earth. Here also, which I guess that would level up Talia. But I also kind of like saving the spell man for ground slam. But it is a leveled up Talia, so. I don't have room for leveled up Talia though. Yes, Sammy. You're killing me, Sammy. You're killing me. Pretty cool to be stronger than stone and faster than the wind. Is that like Superman? I don't know. Who, I don't know who that refers to. Attack of the Blue Sentinel, probably not that great, but then, you know, like what are they doing about like the, all these threaded needles? Nope, threaded volleys for Talia. That's my cue. Okay. Okay. They're taking out my Talia. Down to eight. Talia's a goner. We're gonna draw millions of cards. Ooh. 
All right, we got. Wait, we just have one chip? I only two chips. I guess we got the second Malphite, not the second chip. Talia. I guess Talia is fun to say also. Talia. Fun champion to say no matter what. Yeah, I don't know who's the the landmark deck. If it's us, if it's them. Every blade, every beat in its <laughs> kind of feels like it's them. So I don't know if like blocking with blue sentinel is too necessary. But they're gonna Oh, they did its attack? What are they doing? They would get the flawless duet? Wouldn't they? Or would they not? Wouldn't they? I don't know. Life's weird, man. All right, let's go with Stonebreaker. Man, that's fun to say, Stonebreaker. All right, Stonebreaker time. I think we got this one. Boom. It's gotta be GG's, right? Defiant Dance. That's cool. Let's get this life total down a little bit. Alright. There we go. That's game. Alright, we are 2 and 0. Oh. Malphite. Again, Malphite MVP. It's Malphite Spotlight Night. Malphite's 2 0. Oh, can Malphite handle some spiders? Let's see. No, 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 no. I mulliganed that card. What are we doing? Hmm. Well. I asked Malphite, I was like, I thought I mulliganed that card. You know what Malphite said? He goes, tough. I was like, all right, I guess I didn't mulligan that, fine. You win, Malphite. Should we take another Ancient Preparations? Probably want one mana card. One mana cards, let's get chip. I pull the string. Well that was whenever you were alive, but you're kinda dead now. No strings to be pulled. So we take one extra damage to just get this 1-1 one, one Spiraling out of here and then keep our Clock Lang. I think that's worth one point of damage. Right, like, we could be at 15. Would you look at this place? I was going to open an attack, but then drawing the Rock Hopper, it's always good to get these Roaring Sands in before they play stuff. Malphite has been carrying. Malphite's been carrying all night. Christopher Walken. 
Okay, so we'd probably want another landmark in for Talia, but I could see just playing Talia as a 3-5. Like we could definitely just play a Talia right now. So like if I go Preservarium, we're kind of wasting a mana, wasting a turn. That's actually probably fine. Ground Slam? No. Hoping for Ground Slam. Doing Decent blockers. We got six attackers. We got four blockers. I will run you over. That's rude. Down to eight. I hope we don't like lose by one because of the star shaping. Ooh. Another one mana card. I think Talia said that she was surfing Niagara Falls. I think that's what she just said. Niagara Falls would be super scary to surf. Hurry, I'm gonna attack. Attack on a dime and give him nine cents change. Oh, you said the, the horizon calls, not I'm at Niagara Falls. I guess that also makes sense. Ground Slam. Ground Slam good v Noxian Fervor. They got another one. We got Star Shaping plus Ground Slam this round. I'm pretty sure Malphite's gonna win this one again. Malphite continues to carry. We are really spotlighting Malphite tonight. Like, it's about to be 3-0 with this Malphite deck. It is completely spot spotlighting Malphite and nothing else. Alright, so I could play Malphite. Malphite does the same thing the Ground Slam does. And so the, the safest play is just Ground Slam plus Star Shaping. Because, like, both Malphite and Ground Slam block one thing, but Ground Slam allows me to still have Star Shaping available. Alright, so I do this. We go block, block, take five, go to four. I do this. This. We go block, 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 still take five, go to four. Alright, so we're, we're taking five no matter what we do. I guess we know we could take four. Okay. Yeah, we can take four, go to five. Okay, good. Okay. Because I want to... Like, I don't want to die to decimate, right? So I want to, like, try to figure out how do we not die to decimate. This can allow me to... Go block, block, block. This allows me to not die to decimate. With that, go down to one. I'm not playing that card. Nah, Malphite's been MVP. Malphite MVP. Good thing we just drew Malphite so we can play it. We haven't had a Malphite yet to play. Boom. So if they drew a blocker... Yeah! We played Malphite Instant Concede. Malphite too strong, Malphite carry. It's a good day to be Malphite. It truly is on Malphite Spotlight Night. 
All right, I think this is going to be Malphite's toughest test yet. I think this is the best, most aggressive deck that we've played so far. Get some one cost cards. Would be nice. Like a chip. Potato. Nope, no chips. Rear guard pretty good. If it's ready, son, I can ride it. For the Empire. That was a pretty good buff on that rear guard, turning that thing into a 3-2. That's a such a big deal. And you can see right there why. Would have been a good time for a chip. Chip could kill the de demolitionist by itself. So I want to make this trade because if they play Misfortune, we have no chance of making this trade after that. So because of Misfortune, that's why I want to make that trade. Man, we're already at nine? We've only taken like a hit from a one drop and a hit from a three drop, and we're at nine. Those Imperial Demolitionists. Keep your eyes on the horizon and your feet on the ground. I'm one of the good guys, but not that. I like a chip. I'm gonna pass. I want ground slam. Ground slam to kill misfortune. Scary. That means that maybe they're going to be playing a leveled up Malphite, or sorry, Gangplank. Alright, Talia gets the, us halfway there. Whoa. Still need 10 more, 9. Hmm, that's not how that song goes. Alright, so I got right negation would be 4 mana. I got an additional 4 mana. Please no gangplank. Please no gangplank. Please no really anything. Just go ahead and don't play another card the rest of the game. That would be a very kind. Thank you. Haha! -ha. That's why I play right negation. Get the random decimate. Dude, Malphite carry again. Again, we had Malphite in the opener, and Malphite just carried. Malphite keeps carrying. And that's gonna be it. Four and O oh for Malphite Talia. Kind of shows the Yasuo not too good. If we get rid of Yasuo and Malphite's unbeatable. 9-0 with non-Yasuo. Of course, the Yasuo deck was like the one Malphite deck that wasn't really a landmark deck, right? Like, get some landmarks in your deck. Get some more, like, good landmarks in your deck, and then you're going to win with Malphite. Malphite plus good landmarks equals wins. That's what we've learned. Ooh, Zoe Vi. This will be slowed down just a tad bit. But round one Zoe, going to be pretty difficult to defeat. Blue Sentinel, Salt Spire. I'm going to keep Ground Slam. I'm like always happy to have Ground Slam in my hand, right? I'm just going to keep it. Chip. Chip. Hooray. I don't want you dying to a Thermal Beam. So really the only thing I'm ever scared of with this deck is round one Zoe. <laughs> if it's not round one Zoe, I'm just not scared. 
Unfortunately, they kind of have round one Zoe. And so that's pretty scary. But good thing we got some ground slams. Ground slam's always good to have. Alright, I feel pretty good about this now. Get to ground slam to Zoe. But for one for one, we're still trading a four mana card for a one mana card. So maybe I shouldn't be so happy about it. Because the Solari Priestesses are definitely scary. They're going to get amazing invoke cards. I guess. Daylight warms the heart and lights the I guess invoke is definitely just like a whole lot better than anything that we're doing, isn't it? Hmm. Well, we're going to top deck Talia right here and then play that on the Salt Spire. Oh, come on! Then they also just have another. Oh, man. Never mind. We're. This game's over. Uh, I guess they don't get a free card. Why didn't they play that super cool star chart and get a free card? Wrong five-man card, we need Italia. Back heretic. All right, don't love our chances. Not gonna lie. I would have had those that unraveled Earth first. This would have been a 7 5. I love that line. The blue is like me, except very different in every way. And it's how Chip says it and everything. It's so cute. Yeah, we're going to be playing a Shen deck with the Shen Boat pretty soon. I forgot about the Shen Boat until yesterday. And yesterday I was like, oh yeah, there's a Shen Boat now. So we got to play Shen Boat because I, y'all know, I really like all the support champions. And so I really like playing Shen decks. So that will be something that we will try. All right, so that, that one leveled up both champions. They kind of look the same. It's like... Talia's surfing on water and Malphite's surfing on sand. <laughs> I bear a message from. Oh, hey, what's that? <laughs> Insolence. All right, so they got twice as many cards in hand as we do. One girl wrecking crew. Oh, no. Well, they've gotten lots of champions. We have seen... Checks notes. Zero. Zero champions so far. Malphite's been carrying us. Where's our Malphites? They've gotten half, half of their champions. We need Malphite to carry. could ever know. Could do either thing. Oh man, I want to take Cosmic Inspiration, but we'll never be able to play it. We only have these two cards in our entire deck that can get Celestials, so like we have to, like we have to, yeah, so we can't play Cosmic Inspiration, so it's got to be one of these. And, I mean, the Scourge is the more powerful of the two, but... Just where I Spell Shield? Nah, I'll take this one. Okay. 
Malphite, carry us. Where are you? What's up, Saigumba? We have been getting carried by Malphite this entire time to our 4-0, but we've, we've seen zero champions so far. My opponents have my opponent's already played two Zoes and a Vi. And we've gotten zero champions so far. Yeah, they, they got some invoke cards over there. They definitely have at least one Solari Priestess invoke card still. Hmm. They got they got lots of stuff going on. Us not so much. Them, they got a lot. I guess I should have uh, killed the mountain goat, and then they would have had two two twos. They, like, they would have had just two two twos. Then I would be able to attack with the seven three also. Yeah, so I guess the the other one with the spell shield would have been, would have been better. Malfoyt, Malfoyt carry. We finally found our first champion! After they played their, like, fifth champion. But, unfortunately, it's too late. Yeah, it didn't have a very good start. Like, the the one star shaping was good with, like, the double obliterate for, like, that Vi. But, second, second star shaping, not so good. Alright, but still, overall, Malphite Talia, pretty awesome. Four and one, definitely felt pretty good. Um, Talia was okay, you know, it won us like four of the games, but really Malphite, Malphite was the card that carried. Um, while Talia was in there like, you know, deal dealing all the damage and like killing all their stuff and, you know, killing their Nexus, Malphite was in hand, chilling, watching over things, you know, like it was, it was like our, our general, right? Like while like Talia was like the soldier doing all the work, but Talia was like, or so, but sorry, but Malphite was like the general in hand saying, all right, Talia, now you attack and, you know, pointing all that stuff out. So very important to have Malphite in the deck for sure. Um, let's see, what else? Everything else is pretty good. Gotta love Chip. Gotta love Blue Sentinel. Um, Blue Sentinel, kind of MVP of the night. The two decks with Blue Sentinel went 5-0 oh, and 4-1. Ground Slam, very good interaction. Stun plus deal three. That was very useful in lots and lots of spots. I really like Salt Spire. And Salt Spire with Talia Copy with only the Countdown 2. Um, yeah, that, that was a really good curve of like 4 to 5 with Salt, Salt Spire, Talia, and then suddenly you have a bunch of big grumpy rock bears. So that was pretty nice. And even Stonebreaker. More removal plus Nexus damage plus 6 4 finisher. Stonebreaker uh, did some good stuff. Earth Elemental was a little slow. Didn't really do anything with Earth, Earth Elemental. Um, but besides that, everything else pretty good. All right, so that's going to be Malphite Talia. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck or just Malphite Spotlight Night. If you got other uh, ideas for Malphite that you want to share with everybody else, feel free to do that. Uh, always love that. And uh, we'll see who's going to be our champion for next week. I guess I didn't choose our champion for next week yet. Usually I do that at the beginning of the stream, but I guess we'll do that the day before like we did this one um, see, who, see who's gonna be our spotlight for next week All right, but that's gonna be it here for Malphite Talia. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video